everybody! Linda aka The Gamer Girl here, and today we're gonna play Scarlet Hollow. This is free to play on Steam. I just found this, so we're gonna see how many episodes are free. If all three are free, then I'm going to play all three. If only one or two are free, I will definitely have to play those later, but let's see what happens. So we're gonna start. Uh, warning, there's gore, blood, cursing, all that stuff. So what is your name, Linda? Mmm, Las Vegas. Uh, okay. Does not impact gameplay. Select your gender. He, him. They, them. She, her. Okay, so let's do keen eye. Observant. Uh, let's do street smart. I don't think I need to be hot. Hot, yeah. Confirm. You jolt awake as the bus hits a particularly nasty bump. You feel like you'd only just managed to start drifting off, and now here you are awake and again still exhausted. For a moment, you're hazy on the details of where you exactly here is, confusing this bus will the other many others that came before it. But your mind continues to research its existence in the waking world. The past few days become into focus. The long lost cousin, the bad news, the 26 hours of bus rides with countless uh, late night stops in speedy de depots that felt unsafe even in the middle of the day. You wouldn't normally find yourself traveling like this, but your cousin bought the tickets. The funeral of your mother, your aunt, seems like something you shouldn't ignore, even considering your late mother's rocky relationship with the side of your family. Unfortunately, the, f the end of your journey is in sight. You're almost to Scarlet Hollow. Stranger, so anyway, as I was saying... Oh no, you're still here. He's been sitting next to you the whole past five hours talking at you without pause. You're not even sure he stopped when you started to doze off. At first you thought he was just being friendly, but that was several hours of one-sided conversation ago. I was in... I was up in Maryland looking for work, but mostly messy around because I was dumb teen. I was a dumb teen, okay. And me and my buddies were doing our pranks, you know, pushing joggers into the harbor, that sort of thing. Wait, what? Pushing joggers into the harbor. Yeah, you know, teen stuff. So this girl comes up to us, swinging her purse, yelling about how she was going to call the cops or whatever. This is hilarious. She actually hit my friend. He said it hurt a lot, so I guess it was he, she was really bad, though. Not just playing. But she kept swinging, and she got closer and closer to the edge, so soon enough, she lost her balance and fell into the harbor all on her own. We didn't even push her. We got a good laugh. But she fished herself out and her phone got soaked, so she called the cops. We wound up hanging out all day. She kind of became my girlfriend after after that. And we've done on and off for about a year, so that's pretty serious. Though, about five months ago, she tried to break up with me. For real, and geez, you ever just get so mad you're like, want to kill somebody? Stop it. Ha, huh, stop what? Whatever you think you're doing right now, you know what I'm talking about. The whole corner, a stranger in the bus and try to make them uncomfortable. I'm not playing along. Ha ha, we're all right, all right. Maybe I'll never want to really kill her, even if I threaten to, to a little bit. She got me real mad, though. Anyway, she's giving birth to our son right now, so I'm trying to get up to Virginia to be, with the, be there for it. But I don't know if I like... I'm like into that stuff, so I might just wind up on the bus to New York or something instead. I've always wanted to go there. Kenai. So we're... So you were so worked up uh, by the thought of her losing her that you threatened to kill her, but now you're that you, she's giving birth to a child you created. Together you're planning on running off? Even if I love her... Think about whether this, that love is strong enough that you'll be able to handle raising a kid together. Think about your actions are going to impact his life and whether removing yourself 
would be better for him in the long run. Wow, okay. Oh yeah, good stuff to think about. Anyways, where did you say you were headed? I didn't. No need to be nasty. I was just asking. Not like I'm gonna follow you off the bus or anything, haha. -ha. So, aren't you getting off of my stop? I must be headed to Scarlet Hollow, right? Or the Holler, as they call it in those parts. The only other stop until the bus turns around, I ride it pretty often, so I know. Almost nobody ever goes up that way. Though, come to think of it, I had a couple of buddies who went up to there to work in the mine. There's a coal mine up in the holler, you see? And there's always jobs listed. I gotta lower this volume, man. Sorry guys, I got really loud. I never wanted to do that kind of thing myself. I like my lungs the way they are. Thanks, but my buddies are got desperate to, enough to try it. I haven't heard from them in a while now when I think about it. I should see if they're on Facebook. See what, how they are doing up there. Hey, they didn't die! Oh, great. He looks back at his phone for once, focusing on something other than you. Oh, this is me! It, it was lovely meeting you. Hope you don't get bored without me around the, to talk to. Here, I have something for you. The stranger ruffles through a pack before presenting you with a dripping bag of peanuts. They're boiled peanuts. I got them at the gas station a few buses back. I noticed you haven't eaten much, so I figured you would could use them more than me. Plus, they're dripped all over my bag, so I don't want to carry them anymore. No thanks. You put your hands up to say no. I'm not really hungry. There's still a good 45 minutes left in your drilling, pal. Assuming nothing goes wrong, best to have them on hand. The young man sets the penis down in the next empty seat next to him. The juices dribble through the bottom of the bag and into the upholstery, instantly soaking into a peanut brine. And with that, I leave you. Safe travels, friend. Oh boy. And just like that, you're alone. Throw the stranger's peanuts remains on his seat. Now that he's gone, you don't need see any need to talk over soggy leftovers. Maybe it's finally get some sleep. Next stop, Scarlet Hollow, end of the line. Almost there. That was a weird exchange. The bus finally comes to stop. It breaks squeaking as it deposits you in the front of Scarlet Hollow's bus station. With the sign reads bus station, but calling it the feels disingenuous at best it's a kiosk through the small town like this you may amazed there's as much as a road let alone a bus that drives it everywhere the driver quickly shuts the doors behind you and starts the engine kicking up dust clouds as the bus pulls off away eager to leave you in a place behind hey linda you instantly recognize the worn woman from the few public photos on her facebook page she's your cousin Tabitha, and she looks annoyed to be here. You re instantly recognize... Okay, so let's see. Give your condolences. I'm so sorry for your loss, Tabitha. Yeah, great, thank you. Let's get back to the estate. I don't want to spend any more time down here than I have to. Cousin turns emotions to an old BMW parked in next to the bus kiosk. You follow her, claiming, clamoring into the dusty relic. Oh boy. Doesn't take much driving before the only signals, the only signs of civilization are the car you're in and the road on, you're on. Tabitha maintains an icy silence as you focus on the road. Tip. Dialogue options level explore can usually be taken without advancing the story. They can impact relationships and unlock additional story paths, so choose carefully. Ah, uh, do I want to joke? So, the funeral. So, the funeral on Sunday, right? Yep, like I told you. 
Uh, need any help planning? Do you need any help planning? If you ever need help with errands or scheduling, feel free to ask. I know this stuff isn't easy. It's actually been fine. Just need the coffin and somebody to dig a hole. Tablet stares straight ahead. Her expression tense and icy. Ooh. Uh, let's try this. How are you holding up? Fine. Wow, she is really... You don't seem fine. You look... Look, I don't... Sorry. Look, I know a bluff when I see one. You don't have to hide your feelings around me. We're family, even if we just met. She sighs and partly... Particularly heavy sigh. Look, I appreciate your concern, but I'm fine, really. Tabitha stares straight ahead, her expression tense and icy. Have we ever actually met before? I'm pretty sure this is the first time, right? Yep. You have your mom to thank for that. Or I had, I guess. Is there bad blood between us? I'm sorry, but is there bad blood between us? All I know is my mom left and she was mad at this, this side of the family. But I don't know much besides that. Your cousin stares ahead. Ooh, she's mad. Uh Huh. Ah, oh, your cousin turns to stare at you, an icy hatred in her eyes. Maybe this would have worked to ease attention if you were somebody else, but she isn't. She turns back to the road, her expression cold and unforgiving. Remain silent. Nah. Wow, she's very, very happy. And here it is, the Scarlet Estate, the old family homestead. And there, it's seen better days. It's crumbling entrance. It's not lost to you. Someone used dignity apartments in gray cities. That looks like it's about to fall apart. I'm being honest. Look at this. This does not look safe at all. Your mother told you about this place many times before she passed. Always with an anger burning underneath her words. Faded Miss Majestic. The faded majestic oh, you uh, once imagined doesn't quite compare to what's in front of you. A jarring blend of ruin, yay. As you stare at the perch of the crumbling cliffside, you can't help but feel that there's something they should have left to rot a long, long time ago. As you enter, you hit with a blast of dusty air. Everything in the room... I'm going to take this off now. Everything in the room has been here for much longer than you have been alive. Even object cement in place with layers of dust and cobwebs. You can hear doors creak. You can hear their hinges ache and moan in ancient floorboards. This house itself always in the wind. Welcome to our family humble estate. Unfortunately, due to the certain current state of the house, only a few rooms were safely assembled during our stay. I wouldn't be go wandering around anywhere else you value your limbs. The floors have been known to give out. If you know what's good for you, you'll stick to your room, your bathroom, the kitchen, and the hallways, I guess. But only the hallways you need to go to, to your places. I'll show you around so you know where you're safe to walk. You can leave your bags here for the time being. It's beautiful. I don't think it's been ever been in a building that feels powerful than this. You're lying through your teeth, but Tabitha doesn't need to know that. In fact, not only does she not need to know that you're lying, but she won't know. Ever. You're a very good liar. It is the state where the prized jewel of the region for a long time. It's quite a magnificent piece of architecture, even now. Shall we take a tour? Follow me. Hey, I gotta loosen her up, I guess. You put your bags down and follow Tabitha through a long, dusty hallway. She de delicately steps over holes and tears in the floor. You do your best to trace her steps. Kitchen. On Wednesdays, a woman from our town comes and does the cleaning. Her name is Jenny. Doesn't look like she cleans very well. I wouldn't recommend socializing with her. She'll talk your ear off. If you need any food, there's fixings of peanut butter and jelly. Don't touch my mac and cheese or my ice cream. Those are off limits. Oh, 
And you can also access the garden through here, but it's pretty wild, so I wouldn't if I were you. Tip. Some explorer options prevent you from taking others. Choose carefully. This is so nice. It's much bigger than what I am used to in the city. Is that a kitchen island? It is. Thank you. Alright, what's next? Bathroom. Follow me. Oh, I didn't even notice there's a cat. Hi, cat. Great. It's been hours since I've been gone. As the two of you leave the kitchen, you pass a t by a tuxedo cat sitting on the countertop. Pet the cat. Ooh! <laughs> Before following your cousin down the hall, you decide to pet the cat. She bites you hard and hisses violently. Tabitha sighs. As you now learn, you should not pet... Fru-fru, she, if she wants to be pet, she'll let you know. Come on to the bathroom, it waits. Oh, I just hurt myself. <laughs> you once again follow Tabitha through the long, dusty hallway. Maybe after a few nights, it's it get easier to navigate these spaces, but for the time being, you feel lucky not falling through the floors. Guest bathroom, not much to show. It's a bathroom. I'll wait outside. Do you what you must if you must. It's not the wretched bathroom, piles of junk, sit on touch in the corners, okay. What a wonderful bathroom. I absolutely love it. Ah! Ha! <laughs> he must. I'm gonna have to do what I gotta do. Guest bathroom, last stop on the tour. Follow me. The room smells old, dust, mildew, rot, yada yada yada. This is where you're staying. The linens are fresh. I had Jenny wash them last week. I had to endure half an hour rant about her kid to get her to do it. So you better be grateful. The closet is full of old family stuff, so you can't hang your clothes, but you can use the dresser. Uh, let's do Kenai. What's with all the boxes? Old family stuff? What kind of family stuff? Unimportant family stuff. What an inviting room. How do you know how much I love... Oh, I don't know. Cherubs? The chest is to die for. <laughs> I'm surprised you see that such taste. Last piece of furniture in this room. The genuine antique. Handed down through the family for generations. Who used to sleep here? Who used to sleep here? When? This house is 150 years old. Many, many people have slept here. And now you sleep here. Carry on. Find traditions of bedrooms being slept in. I guess I'll get settled. Follow me, I'll take you back to the foyer to collect your things. She's a peach, isn't she? This concludes our tour. I'm afraid I must return to my duties, so you'll have to entertain yourself for the rest of the day. Don't expect to see much tip. Some dialogue options will only open additional conversation paths. Some right away and others down the line. I'm gonna do, are you sure you're okay? Are you sure you're doing okay? You seem kind of upset. I'm fine. I just need to go back to work. Sure you can't take a day off? No. Some of us have responsibilities. If you think about it, isn't family the greatest responsibility of them all? <laughs> Let's be weird. Ha! That's rich coming from someone whose mother abandoned us because she didn't want to run the family business. Ooh, backhanded jabs. Okay. And now I'm here. The only person left to manage the estate, and here you are, asking to take me away from my duties to hang out with you. 
I'm going back to work. Stay here. Go into town. Do whatever you want. Just keep out of my tr just keep out of trouble. Okay. What kind of work do you do? I run the coal mine. Oh, so you run the coal mine. Dang, okay. I didn't know we owned the coal mine. We don't own the coal mine. I own the coal mine. Your mother forfeited any claim to it years ago. Wow, sheesh, okay. Good for you. It's pretty impressive and exciting. Good for you. Appreciate your enthusiasm, but I don't think it is as boring and exciting in the same way I don't think cleaning a toilet or painting a wall either is the things that it's a task. Ah, remain silent. I'm gonna let her leave. She is a handful. Woo, she's mad. Ah, settle into your room. <laughs> you can go straight to the Forbidden Forest. Okay, let's go sleep. Now let's put the spare clothes in the- Whoa! Oh, wow. You're not gonna let me do what I gotta do. We got creatures and everything, man. Check the closet. Whoa! Creepy doll. Pick up the doll. Of course, you're sharing a room with a creepy doll. You pick it up to examine more closely. Its tags read Property of Alexandria. No need to carry it around with you. Close the closet behind you. Uh, examine the painting. Must be an old relative of yours, very old, judging by the date of the inscription. You never heard of her. You barely heard of anyone in this house. Okay. Maybe you could ask Tabitha. Mary Bell Scarlet. Oh, okay. Scarlet. Look out the window. You can only imagine how beautiful the garden must have been in the heyday. If you owned this place, you totally get out and shovel and some garden gloves and whip out it into shape. You go out, pull weeds, chop trees, do whatever you need to do to return it to its former glory. And once it's all done, you sit in the fountain, which is, of course, have a little goldfish and drink floral tea. Yeah, you definitely do that. Nah, uh, just not right now. Uh, take a nap. You immediately collapse on the bed. You're tired enough to be laying alone in a stranger. New place won't stop you from passing out. Or so you thought. You cough a small cloud of dust rises up from the mattress. These sheets might be fresh, but everything beneath it them might have been around to see the dawn of civilization. You try to settle in, but the bed is lumpy in strange places and you can feel the springs pressing through the fabric. You might be tired, but you're far from tired enough to get in more than a few minutes of uncomfortable napping. That's enough. It doesn't seem like there's much else to do for you right now. Eh, let's go to town. There you settle in. There's not much left for you to do here other than head out and explore the town. Let's go. Let's see what we got. You know you wind up walking all the way back to town. You probably would have just asked Tabitha to leave you at the bus stop, especially with how unhappy she seemed to be seeing you. You only wipe slate between the two to clean bury some of the tension. Though maybe her mother's funeral isn't the best time to do something like that. Then maybe it's the perfect time. Continue down the path. Really pretty out here. Continue down the path. Finally, you made it back to town. The hollerer, the guy on the bus called, has probably seen better days. Okay, chill breeze sweeps the lane. And you shudder, suddenly filling your pouring into the grave. Oh, hello, doggy. Gretchen, come back! Quiet bothering the stranger. Sorry, 
About that, Gretchen is very slippery when she wants to be. She loves to get loose and cause havoc. Pet the dog? Reach on scratch. Pet it by the hair. Her fur is soft and warm. She wheezes excitedly, digging her nose into the palm and licking your hand. Aww. I'm so glad you two are getting along. Isn't she just the cutest? With her hygienic, energetic, she gets a never... You'll never know. She's 17. Wow, she's old. That's amazing. 17, that's incredible. It sure is. I'm hoping... Oh, this is a good beat right here. I'm hoping she beats the curtain record holder and makes it to 19. Better yet, 20. More time to get with together and better. Isn't that right, Gretch? Ah, but to get to know you, that's Stella. Scarlet Funeral. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Linda. You must be Tabby's cousin, right? That's the only person I could think of that would be in the town for the funeral. How's you holding up? To be honest, it's been a little worried about her. All holed up in that big house. I don't think she's doing too well. She's been icy, but it feels like she's putting it on to the front. She's always been a little rough around the edges, to be honest. It's been hard, you know, putting her whole life ahead for that, I guess. Okay, to think she's been up the whole mansion all by herself. It's probably good for her now that you're staying there, even if it doesn't. she doesn't think so herself. Thanks for letting me know, by the way. How long have you known her? Quite a long time. The town's pretty small. So everybody knows everybody as far as back as I can remember. Tabby and I got a little close when we were both in the school's production of Midnight Summer's... Midnight Summer's... Oh my gosh. A Midsummer Night's Dream. I can't even read today. I was Puck and she was Mustard Seed. As you might have expected, there's, she was more than a little pricky. She might often soften at the end. And then she graduated and that was that. Oh. You just got into town? You must be starving. I was just on the way to dinner for coffee. That'd be amazing biscuits. My treat. Follow her. Yes. Oh, look it. It's lively. Way better than the house we were in. Hey everyone, I'm Linda. Huh. Everybody's staring at me. There's two policemen, a woman, and assuming the owner shoots a long glance in your direction while whispering to each other. Vivian's kid. Never thought we would actually meet her. Looks like she's... Looks so much like her. Oh yeah. Those eyes are unmistakable. The haunting look. I always thought it would go away once she finally got out of the town, but I guess unhappiness is baked in her DNA. Ooh, wow. A young mother and her syrup-stained child sit at the table next in front of you. Mommy, who's that? Don't stare, Tulip. That's Miss Tabitha's cousin. Ah, so sh that's why she looks so sad. <laughs> wow, everybody thinks and knows where our family is sad. Ooh, okay. Sigh, why are the strangers who wander into town never gorgeous blonde ladies appropriate age? Ooh. Creepy. Those must be the buddies. Shouldn't speak ill of the dead. I guess the miners don't like him. Which is weird. Okay. I guess we'll find out. Nastiest woman I've ever met. That Tabitha is a blessing compared to her. Cursed a whole lot of them. May every scarlet burn in hell. But then you won't have a job. Weird. Hey, Stella. I went ahead and fixed you up a coffee. They gracefully put place a cup of specially brewed coffee in front of Stella. Ah, oh, shucks. Thanks, Avery. Can I have some sugar? Already taken care of that. I know you like your coffee drowned in cream and sugar. And here's some bacon for the lady. 
Grace just tips the bacon and digs in. Ha ha ha! Oh boy. Okay. I'm trying to go a little fast because I don't know how long this game is. And having a hard time reading today. Pollock. What? Okay. Pollock, a church thing? Would it be weird for me to come in as not a member? No, no. This Sunday thing is coincidentals for the library. Um, too many people go to church not many people go to church around here, to be honest. I get that. I'm not a church person. Same for me. Whatever feels some folks get to church, I think it must be a feeling. Well, the building's fine, but the pastor's another story. Oh, boy. smart. What's your angle? My angle? I never have an angle. She definitely has an angle. <laughs> okay, so my job means I spend a lot of time in the woods with a camera and always better when someone else is there, too. Before Stella can finish, every returns biscuit in tow. Here, Winnie, give your... Winnie wanted to give you a biscuit on the house. She sends her condolences. You didn't have to do that. Ah, oh, buttery. Buttery is good. Whoa, this is a really good biscuit. Wow. Glad you like it. Avery, so what are you doing? Stella, I'm a YouTuber? Oh, snap. Wait, what? Hold up. That's not a big deal. I mean, it pays the bills, but it's just a passion project, you know? You're too modest, Stella. Your videos are really good. You should watch them sometime, Linda. They're like this Discovery Channel, but with better research. Tell me more. Color me interested. Tell me more. She hunts crypts. Oh. I think the best video to start would be the river one. Not the lake, but, you know, the controversial one. Oh, yeah. The river runner. Oh, Are we gonna go on a hunt? A ghost story? Ooh. Oh, snap. We got a YouTuber feeling like I picked a good game. Hell yeah. I think that's a mountain lion. Oh, snap. This is getting good, guys. Oh my gosh. Man, these beats are grooves, dude. Get you in the mood, man. Huh. Heck yeah. I wanna go. I'm down to do any YouTube video that's in... See some skunks, I don't care. Yeah, absolutely. I would love to go help you film, girl. Where are we going? Where do I need to be? How much footage do you need? How many angles? I am there. I know what I need to do. I will get you the best camera footage ever. 
This is gonna be fun. Oh, bing. Well, I don't know what they're saying. Skunk ape. Oh, I hope this turns into like a horror story. Oh, man. Ooh, like Blair Witch. Oh, that'd be cool. Explore. Ah. I don't care. Let's just do everything. Let's just be a yes person right now. Skunk cape. Wait, where'd she go? Leave a tip. Oh, I only have a dollar and a quarter. The rest of my meals are gonna be free. Darn. Oh, so we're gonna chill over the horizon. The hollow. Ooh, sleepy hollow? Oh, so many guesses. Strangely calm. Ooh, the birds. Gotta love the brisk fall weather. The past summer was the hottest on record since last year, at least. You know how these days each summer is the hottest yet until the next summer? It's just nice to feel the chill air and see the leaves change. Sorry for the bit of a bummer. We should talk more about something more fun. Ooh, ghosts. The ghost, demons, werewolves, that sort of thing. Yeah, for sure. I used to go all sorts of spooky stuff. I never had much luck though, especially when it came to ghosts. Back when I first started doing solo videos, I go all sorts of abandoned buildings hoping to stumble across- Ooh, I hope there we get something like that. Oh my gosh, please. Oh, I want something. True hauntings. Come on! Werewolves. Oh, they're teasing so much stuff, everybody. Demons? Nah. I don't want demons. I want something that's not the normal. <laughs> <laughs> Aliens. Don't even get me started. Do you see a few UFO videos, government declassified? Heck yeah, aliens are real. Yay! I'm trying to connect with Stella. I want to see where she leads me. I want to see something cool. Passed out and then woke up and he was missing his pinkies. What? That's cool, but weird. Could have been the government. Oh my gosh. Aliens! <laughs> I'll give her one. I'll give her one, okay? Hmm. What's the weirdest thing we've seen in the woods? Hmm. 
Anything bad ever happens, I'm waiting for something bad to happen. I don't know, I feel like something's gonna happen. It's too calm, you know what I mean? I don't know, I don't know if I should trust her all the way. Get what I'm saying? Do you hear that? Whoa! Ah. <sighs> Duke seems like a happy guy, doesn't he? Oh, he's not gonna help us. Come on, Duke. I'm seeing Gretchen not happy. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna skip through some of this dialogue. This is a lot. I'm gonna lie. Get Duke out of our hair. And then we're gonna bust out of here and get going. <laughs> yeah, we sure fooled him. That's funny. Maybe we shouldn't have fooled him. Maybe something bad's gonna happen. Skunk ape. Relative to the Bigfoot. Will we find the skunk ape, people? Wait. 22. Hmm. So it's in the near distant future. <laughs> what was that? Oof. That don't look good. That deer don't look good, though. There was something wrong with that deer. That didn't look like no tumor. <laughs> I'm ready for the hunt. Let's go. Hmm, I'm hoping that there's not a radioactive thing going on. Yay, trail mix. Hell yeah. Hmm. Nah, let's do a snack bar.
You and Stella's you and Stella settle down and overlook snacks in hand and quiet sounds of evening wildfire wash over you. Good thing we found Stella. Hey, wait, how did she know I lived in Vegas? The game asked. Do you have a house, an apartment? Where do you live? Family, roommates? Tell me what it's like to be Linda. Okay, so let's see what we got. I live in an internet cafe. I live in a 12 by 12 shed in someone's yard. In an apartment with a difficult roommate. I live in a doorless basement. I live in a closet with a room Tim. I live alone in a dingy studio apartment. Eh, let's do a little bit alone in a dingy studio apartment. Even though that's not true. And I love it. Okay, so I'm a student, first year. I don't want to be a lawyer. Uh, oh, Etsy. We'll do Etsy. This person really does know about the internet because they said Etsy, YouTube, Facebook. So her great grandfather built a house. Huh. Yeah, not around anymore. They died a few years back. Oh. What were they like? They were amazing. Two of the nicest people. He's getting sentimental. I'm gonna move my cursor over here so that you can read. Oh, jeez, we keep hearing stuff. Oh, here we go. Shh, it's probably a chicken. What was that? Right behind you, let's go. Here we go. Come on, give me something good. Something good. Come on. Oh, did she fall? Ow, you okay, girl? She tripped. Ooh. It's got a lump on it, too. Oh, dude. This is getting good, guys and gals. Oh, it's Duke. Can you hear the whispers? What was that? Ooh, that's creepy. Shouldn't be here. I think that's what they're saying.
Whoa. 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 Die for Gretchen. Screw the flashlight. Oh, what is that? Oh, hell no. Oh. Oh, this is not good. Whoa. Oh. Oh, whoa. 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 What was that? I wasn't ready for that one. Oh, snap. <laughs> kind of like the ring. Remember the ring when, um... The closet scene happens. Whew. That was sketchy. In a good way. Let's keep going. Why not? <sighs> okay. Let's go for it. Let's just go all the way. Ooh. What are they? What are those? What are they? What is that? That is so creepy. Ooh. You need to get out of here. Let's bounce. I don't need no YouTube video. Oh, this is so creepy. Oh. Oh, this is getting so good now. I'm a texture. I don't know if we get cell service. Would want to wait, man. That's just too creepy. <laughs> Naked maniac. I don't think those are naked maniacs anytime soon. I don't think you should say none of your business to a police officer right now. Especially when you just rolled into town. That was exciting first day here. We got creepy things.
Oh, great. Now I'm a suspect. Why not? I'm already a suspect. Who cares? Whoa, what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? I don't like you. Creepy. You are creepy. Go away. Just a sick man outside. I think they're... It's kind of like Goosebumps. They know more than they're letting on. This game is getting good. But just so much dialogue. Kind of speed reading through this. Smooth. I wonder if she's trying to hear what they're saying, you know? <laughs> what are you doing in my house? Hi, I'm Linda. She doesn't seem too happy. Get sketchy. I already can tell. It's gonna be something bad. Oh no.
Oh, that makes sense. They're kind of like alien. Where? Wait, she's wearing a Sailor Moon shirt. I just realized that Sailor Moon rocks. But uh, so it's kind of like Alien, where they leech into you and then create their babies, and then the babies survive and then like explode out. That's really cool. I can keep going, I'm still wired. Yeah, we need to we need to roll out of here. And figure out this sticky situation. Be careful. We need to go home. I should go back and check on Tabitha. <laughs> I'm more terrified of Tabitha than the things in the woods. Yeah. We're in this together. Let's do this. Let's figure out the safety way to get where we need to go. Yeah. Woo. Okay. Almost home. You made it. Ha! Huh. She's like your mother. Yeah, I'm gonna go to get uh, some sleep if I can. Call her. I'm gonna let Stella know I'm home. Well, if this really is my home, because apparently my mom left me nothing. Let's get going. <sighs> okay. Brand new day. Saw some weird interesting stuff the very first day here. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. This visual is so good. Who made this game? Textures and shading is so great. Oh, wow. That must have taken like hours to do that. What is this? Creepy things. Halloween is around the corner. I wonder if I'm dreaming this. Why is there so many locks on the door to your house? Well, you're not gonna believe this.
I have to wait until tomorrow to play the rest of the game. It says a choice driven horror game, Kickstarter. New episodes are coming out tomorrow. So we'll definitely finish off the rest of it when it's uh, released. But I wanted to show you guys this awesome little Scarlet Hollow Kickstarter game. I don't know how I found it, to be honest. I was just looking online for new point-and-click horror games because I don't feel like many people talk about point-and-click horror games. We'll see. You know, like, if this kicks off and does really well, maybe more people will do it. But um, I will definitely drop the link to this so that the first episode is free to play. The second and third episode, I have no idea when it's going to be live, but I'm definitely going to log in and support this and get the other episodes because I'm digging the art style and digging anything that is going to happen. But we'll see. Um, for sure. Thank you for watching. This is an epic suspense. I can't wait to see the very end. I want to see what becomes of myself. <laughs> so thank you for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. And as always, keep on gaming, everybody. Be on the lookout for episodes 2 and 3. I might lump them together. Or I might separate them. But either way, definitely, definitely watch, enjoy, keep on gaming. And if you're new to the channel, please hit the sub button. Helps out the channel. Ooh, Scarlet Hollow. You even won a place in my heart. My little horror heart is happy. Bye, everybody.